Mad Cat Spear, and I just wanted to upload a video to talk about um, just a few things about uh, uh, psychonesis and a little bit about spirituality. And but the first thing I want to talk about is this shirt. I finally got this shirt. Came in just today. I bought it from Trevor Seven's website. It's a real good quality T-shirt. It's a real, real nice T-shirt. It's a telekinesis one. It's the empathy, uh, mindset, and energy. So I'm trying to look at the camera. The, the empathy, mindset, and energy. And like it's telekinesis shirt, it, it drapes the body well, it complements the body real good. And they have hydro and pyroelectrokinesis with the clever kind of saying and stuff like that. And you guys should check it out, it's only $20, but it's worth the money. Okay, and just to move on, um, I, I, I'm going to put his uh, his, uh, his website on the, on the link and everything at the description. But just to move on, um, I want to talk about psychonesis and that so psychonesis uh, I, I just I, I, I know I, t I told you about that you have to be the students um, learning from the teacher which is you you're the teacher teaching the students and you're the student learning from the teacher you have to be two things two aspects of yourself need to be present and that comes with patience patience of self you know and not being ahead of yourself you know and but the thing is though is that what I completely forgot which was something that I completely uh, um, acknowledged and knew about from the start when I started psychonesis, you know, a year ago, um, was that you have to also be an observer of this. So you have to be three things at once. You have to be an observer, observing yourself being a teacher, teaching the students, which is you learning from the teacher. You know, you, you, you know, you have to be an observer learning uh, uh, uh looking and without judgments and without um without doubt or anything like that just observing not thinking anything like that just observing your you know um your yourself teaching and learning from yourself you know and and what it is is that it's more of a, a philosophical metaphorical thing that's the only way i can describe psychonesis is that you have to be in this perfect balance of within your own self you know um, that only you will recognize, you know, that when you're observing an object, you know, the, the intricacy of the object, when you, when you work with aerokinesis, which is what I recommend, with cyber and stuff like that, you're able to control it. Within a week, I was able to control it. When I started, it was, it was by mistake. And um, I started realizing when I didn't use it, and I just used telekinesis from 12 feet away, that I was trying to uh, provoke and suggest motion which was like, you know, it, it, the, 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 it, it's like a, um, you're, you're trying to provoke and, and create motion, which is the teacher. And you're the student, uh, also being an observer, learning, both at the same time, observing at the same time. You, you are two people observing something that is occurring. The teacher is, is, is provoking the object to move, and the student is learning about the 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 emotional context of what is happening and now in order to get full motion of, of an object to move more further you have to be an observer observing yourself learning and teaching you know and it's just a very complex it, it, it sounds complicated but it's not and and i remember when i was uh, uh like a year ago um, um i knew about that that you have to be an observer observing yourself teaching yourself you know that that you have to be three people at once you know in order to create a uh, motion of an object to pull towards you or side will spin or can to roll is that because because you want to be um with more facets of self you want to be separate more further of self you want to include aspects of yourself in order to manipulate an object but you want to remove more of you so that you can so that something can occur without any stumbling or 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 um interference the less of you that's involved with the intention of moving the object the more that the object will actually move and and that's where you know the teacher and the students and the observer come in you're observing what is occurring and you're you're the teacher and the students right here observing this is the first layer and then you're more further back being the, the observer observing you teaching yourself you know the coach coaching the, the the student the kid and you're the observer looking in 
It's like three different people, you know, like that, that's the thing is that emotionally in the form of context, you have to be more further away of self in order to be able to get into this, to activate the delta, delta weight waves more, to get into this uh, uh, kind of um, meditative state of without having to meditate. Um, this kind of uh, get into the zone, Zen type of mentality so that you could get more further through the layers of the onion more further away because your physical presence is something that's automatic by default and your precognitive uh, thoughts you're, you're thinking of now that's the that's a teacher and the subconscious of the child and then you have to go more further out by being the observer observing this all stuff so it's like an observer observing and believing what is occurring and allowing to it for it to occur and that's what second is uh you know i cannot describe it that well but it, it just kind of hit me that you have to be more further away of self in order to be able to step away and have less interference. You want to have tidbits of self to influence the object. You want to have certain, um, it's like baking, it's like baking a cake or making a, a perfect pizza. You want to have the right spices and the right, the right oregano and the right cheese, the right balance of you, of the different layers of you in order to manipulate the object. You know, you, you want to have that kind of thing of different onion layers of self in order to manipulate the object. And the more layers that you pull back, the more that you become more powerful too. And the more that you uh, provoke the delta brainwaves to invoke and to move the object and to become more stronger. And uh, and and um, that, that that's how I think the delta brainwaves, because the delta brainwaves, what it is that it's a dream state. You know, um, people are able to do it like the telekinesis guy, uh, he was able to... Uh, a mind possible that he was able to do it without even sleeping and delta baby is coming when you're deep sleep but he was able to do it when he was awake what it is is that is that you're you're invoking and you're forcing slightly forcing the brain delta brain waves to activate into physical reality in your thoughts you're 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 invoking on um, the dream state to interact with waking thoughts that's the thing that's the thing is that you're invoking the the dream state of the mind to interact with the waking dream with the waking with the waking state of life of living life not sleeping but awake and that's how psychonesis works is the fusion of the dream state co um mixing and fusing with the with the with the waking thinking state of now when you're awake you know that's how because it's the dreams affecting the object, it's your dream, it's your fantasy, you know. And and that, that that's what the Delta Brain Range does, that it's like the, the you know, um it's the it's you're you're provoking the dream fantasy states to kind of blop up a little bit once in a while to affect the waking thoughts of your mind as you're awake walking and talking. And that's how psychonesis is, it's the fusion of those things to provoke the dreams. And as Rika says, but it is my cat's spirit, and yes, watching. Didn't talk about spirituality too much, but I guess watching. And my shirts, God bless.